All we know is the facts is that he walked in here heavily armed with body armor on in military fatigues and, uh, and caused uh, a great amount of panic inside. He certainly had the capability and the potential to harm people. What's happened in Texas and, and Dayton and all that kind of stuff in the last seven days, um, that's on everybody's minds. I don't know how many 911 calls we got from inside the building or on the outside, but when SPD arrived here, uh, there were a lot of people hiding outside behind these barriers and, and businesses, and, and it was pretty, pretty chaotic. I think every officer that hears that floors it and just goes as fast as they can to get there to save life. I think, uh, me personally, like, I mean, when you when you hear that, I mean, that's why we took the profession, you know, we want to come and, and, and stop threats and save lives. And I'm really proud of the response. Um, thankfully, there weren't any shots fired. Uh, I think it's great that that off-duty fireman was here. His intent was not to cause peace or, or, or comfort to anybody that was in the business here. In fact, he's lucky he's alive still, to be honest. He didn't seem angry. He didn't seem crazy. He was very cooperative and almost polite. I heard a voice off to my left saying, is that a real rifle? And I looked up and there was a guy holding his hands up and he had a rifle around him. And then I heard the voice to my left say, why are you walking around in a, in a tactical jacket carrying a rifle in Walmart? I thought, this is real. This is crazy. Before I had just seen him seen the rifle on him. It didn't look quite as big, but when the police officer had it up in the air like so, it looked very terrifying. And then I walked out to my car and right across the aisle from it was the police had blocked off a car. And I'm like, I can't get away from this guy. I feel like he had accomplished what he'd set out to do by scaring people and causing panic.